is rife and being open has opened my world to a hell of a lot of other things. It's opened my world to ozone therapy. I do not work now without ozonated water. Mercury has got a tendency, it's a very toxic thing, it comes out of your fillings, goes in, and it, by some or other method that I don't know, it affects the vibration of your enzymes and of your proteins and of your cell membrane. And people get sick from these fillings. People get sick from root canal fillings chronically sick. If you have an inflammation that the body cannot clear up and it's got to absorb and detox all those byproducts, it will eventually, your immune system will eventually get so tired that it will turn and form a sickness against you. In other words, an autoimmune sickness. Ozone is an unstable triatomic molecule. O plus O plus O gives you O3, and this breaks up very easily. So it's, it's, a, it's a very unstable form, and in nature it's formed by the ultraviolet rays that act on the uh, oxygen atoms in the ozone layer to form ozone. And that's the blue we see. That's the blue we see. That's the ozone. And it also happens when the lightning discharges, and then you smell that ozone, okay? Right, next one, please. Now, it was discovered in 1840 by Schonbein, but in uh, uh, 1863, Andrews uh, uh, showed that it's got very, very strong disinfecting powers. And it was used in 1856, but it all gets forgotten and chucked away and suppressed because it doesn't make the people money. It's not patentable. It doesn't make the people money. And then Monaco's water supplies were, were, were ozonated in 1860. And I think that's why our Princess Grace was such a pretty thing. She was drinking healthy water. Right. In 1901, Siemens constructed ozone purifiers for Wiesbaden and Westphalia. We should be ozonating our water, right? Then a doctor, a dentist, Dr. Fish, started using ozone routinely and he introduced it to uh, Dr. Payer and Dr. Aurborg in France. They produced, they pioneered the use of ozone. But ozone therapy since then has been used as a bio-oxidative process in Europe to treat infections, bacterial, fungal, viral, to treat cardiovascular disease, malignancies. So if you're taking ozone and you, you're on the cancer programs of your life, you're pretty much covering quite a lot of your bets. And recently AIDS. Okay, just a little bit of the philosophy behind it. Oxygen is essential for life. It's involved in all body functions. Oxygen. Permanent brain damage occurs after four minutes if we don't give that patient oxygen. And oxygen combines in the body to form CO2, water, and energy. And this energy is stored in the cells as ATP, adenosine triphosphate. This is the currency of our life. Okay? Without ATP, or this energy, we're dead. And chronic shortage of it leads to fatigue, imbalances, heart disease, immune imbalances, infections, and all the degenerative processes with, uh, associated with aging. So how do we become oxygen deficient? Polluted air. People, we're living in a bloody pigsty. Engine pollution, industrial pollution, active and passive smoking. It's horrible. If we took, they take uh, Antarctic cores from the Antarctica and it shows that the oxygen levels have dropped from 38% in that ice down to less than 20% since industrialization. 
uh, even it's showing in the Arctic ice. Devitalized food. Yeah. All this junk food that we eat leads to atherosclerosis, cancer, diabetes, obesity. You know, in my time when we studied, and it is still the same today, we had 10, maybe 15 minutes on nutrition. And the more I read and the more I experience, everything goes about nutrition. Okay? Poor breathing. Here and now you're doing fillings in a space or you're doing surgery. You're sitting slump. You're, you're in a poor workplace posture. Sit down dentistry. Unfitness. It leads to disuse of the diaphragm. diaphragm. Right? And many pathogens are anaerobic. In other words, they thrive on an oxygen low environment. Now, cancer cells are anaerobic. They thrive on a lack of oxygen. All right? And this Otto Warburg, he, he stated that the key precondition to the development of cancer is a lack of oxygen at the cellular level. Guyton, in all serious states, we find a low oxygen state. It's a sure indicator for disease. Right, so there are two primary effects of breathing. Oxygenation, that's the aeration of our tissues, and oxidation, that is the burning of our energy. Combustion with oxygen, with sugars to pr produce CO2, H2O, and ATP. Now, there are three ways of getting oxygen into your body. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Once blick some yo in a tank, mark your valves too, and we push oxygen in at a high pressure. This improves our aeration. Or we could use hydrogen peroxide therapy or ozone therapy. Now, ozone is O3. When it splits in the body, it forms O2, gives you aeration, and that little O minus runs around killing things. Okay? Hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, put it into the body, it splits to H2O and O minus. Okay. So the key to biooxidative therapy is to increase intra and extracellular oxygen. So in nature, it's formed when oxygen atoms are exposed to ultraviolet light. That's what I've shown you. And it's also formed with the action of high electrical discharges, lightning storms, etc. And we can produce it in the laboratory, okay, uh, by passing pure medical oxygen through high charges. This is how I produce oxygen. That's what I look like when I haven't got oxygen. I'll collect a bloody grim. And then I get my wife with one of my bass rods because it's hydrocarbon. The lightning strikes it easily. Let her get struck by the lightning. She gets struck and we gather it <laughs> into bottles. <laughs> So, artificially, we produce it in an oxygen generator. Now, let's talk about oxygen generators, uh, ozone generators. They were bloody expensive. 140000 for the healer zone. The South African equivalent, 44000 It's expensive. But a good friend of mine, and Gerry knows him well, Johan van der Berg, he, he designed uh, a couple of these things. He is now bringing them in and getting them to make them for him in China for a thousand rand each. Okay, so it's easy. Okay, let's go for it. And this ozone is, as I say, antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Okay, go for it. This is just a graph of the survival rate of, of, of river water when they uh, put ozone through it. And you can see it, the, the contact time is just, whew, it, it, as I say, very anti, antiseptic effect. Go for it. Okay, just showing you when the medical ozone is <coughs> produced, when pure oxygen is passed through an ozone generator, medically pure ozone. But now, Ozone 
it can, if you breathe it in, gives you, you know, you, you, you want to choke sometimes. The dirtier your lungs, the harder you choke. But medical ozone is bubbled through distilled water, and then I use it for my operations, or through olive oil or hemp seed oil. That, when it's bubbled through this, it's released slowly. So in other words, if you want to ozonate your little sick kid, smear it on his chest and he will, it will get slowly, slowly released and not affect his lungs. Okay, um, ozone, it improves the dissociation of oxygen and hemoglobin. In other words, your erosion, your, 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 your oxygen delivery is better. It makes your red blood corpuscles membrane more flexible so it can flu flow through your body with less clumping and much more fluidity. The white blood cell production is, is stimulated um, and also ozone produces interferon and tumor necrosis factor is increased. So it has an anti-neoplastic effect. Yeah. Okay, now this is just a various uses in, in, in medicine. For external ulcers on the skin, these uh, 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 decubitus ulcers, put your ozonated uh, ointments on it and you can ozonate it. You can put the, go for it. You can, you can in fact, give the person intravenous ozone or what they call major autohemotherapy is they draw blood out, ozonate that and then put it in. Now, I'm very, very naughty. I sometimes give ozone intravenously directly. You give it slow and minimally, it's quite safe because it diffuses. Right? Here is herpes zoster, shingles, in a patient. This is not my uh, patient. There she is after an hour of just plain blowing the ozone on it, right? You can uh, uh, you, you, um, use it, uh, as I say, for fungus infections, dermatosis, and that by just bagging the leg. Say he's got, you bag it in an ordinary uh, black plastic bag and pump ozone gas into it. It's very simple. Here is a heel, that wooden heel, after eight weeks, that heel. Okay? There's a burn, third degree burn. Look at that sloughing there. Put it in a bag, ozonate it. I would now also, me, while I'm ozonating, put them on uh, 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 Rife's wound healing. Okay, they, they also inject it into joints, arthritis, proctitis, colitis, etc., etc. Now, talking about proctitis and colitis, I, me, prevent my prostate from getting big or developing cancer by going on the prostate programs of my Rife every, say, 10 days. Now, in maxillofacial surgery, I use ozonated water and ozone very much, and a lot of, a lot of dentists are. They can actually arrest tooth decay on kids by blasts of ozone. And in six weeks' time, that tooth decay is hard, and you can put a filling over it. Arrest caries with 10-second blasts. This bloody uh, gum disease, ozone rinses, and plain straight ozone, it heals it up. Okay, next one. This is a case that just wouldn't stop bleeding after they wanted to do a root canal filling. We ozonated it, it stopped, and there is what a little tumor that was developing inside the pulp of the tooth. Okay, internal resorption they call it, or or pink tooth. Is it, is it ozone therapy safe? Definitely. Definitely. It mustn't be breathed, uh, but if you ozonate it with water or olive oil, 
It's very good as an ointment. And then you can you always use it in a ventilated room. Go for it. Now, a German study evaluated the side effects of five million medically administrated, administrated ozone therapies and found the adverse effects to be 0 0.00007 per application. Now, 0 0.0007 is bogorol. It's nothing. And if you compare this to the toxic effects of amalgams or the toxic effects of local anesthetics or the toxic e effects of non-steroidal uh, uh, anti-inflammatories, ozone is by far a safer one. Okay? All right, now my personal experience. I took 15 single implant patients and I used ozone water. And I put, took another 15 single implants using only sterile water. And we recalled the patients the next day, called them up. Twelve of the ozone patients didn't even need painkillers. Five of the water, sterile water, didn't need post-op killers. The others needed it. So it is definitely reduces pain. It's a good mouthwash. Very often people come in with denture stomatitis and all that. I just mark a ozone water and say, right, go. Just use it up within the next six hours. It's very good with secondary infection of wisdom teeth sockets, herpes labialis, and things with ozonated olive oil. Excellent stuff. Now, here's a case that you guys must look at. Friend of a friend of a friend came in. She'd been gang raped and she was <coughs> HIV positive. What do we do? So we took her blood and if you'll see there on the 3rd of the 2nd, 2003, her virus load was 4,800 per milliliter. That's 4,800 viruses per milliliter. And her CD4 count was dropping. Six, 646. Now that's the one you look at. Boy, if your CD4 count is low, it's down to say two, three hundred. Goodbye. We gave her rife resonance on the HIV uh, uh, frequencies and I injected her with ozone. 21.3. Her HIV load was down from 4,800 down to 359. Now that's significant. And her CD4 count was starting to come up, come up. This girl has got a rife apparatus and she puts herself on it regularly. And I saw her the other day, she's running her own, uh, her own business, running around like a like a thing. She's as happy as a lock, right? This is a patient of mine. They came in, can't you do something with that, those funny apparatuses of yours? Diabetic, paraplegic, foot on, the, on that pedal, druk alkus, no circulation. Went to a surgeon and to relieve it, he cut in this keyhole here. Now, when she came in, I could smell her. She had gangrene. Okay? This was about an inch deep. There, those white things there are the, are the tendons going through to move her toes. Okay? I could smell her. Now, a digital camera does not lie. We put her foot into a black plastic bag and we pumped ozone in and that's what it looks like an hour after can you see the difference look it's red and inflamed and it's paler there's not so much inflammation next one please day three she came in for her next treatment i couldn't even smell her look at how it's pale and the, the granulation tissue is starting to grow in day 10 Granulation tissue starting to fill in. Those tendons are closing up. She's not smelling. She's got no more gangrene. 
Day 12, look at it, growing closed. Day 16, one and a half months later, look at that. And that is a leg that they wanted to amputate. There you are. This is a predentectomy appearance of a woman. Can you believe it? Look at this gum and whatever. It is yucky. And she's a young, pretty woman. Look at that. Right. We did a dentectomy. In other words, we pulled all her teeth. We rinsed her mouth as we were doing with ozonated water. And that is the appearance 24 hours post-op. Now, anybody who knows anything about maxillofacial surgery and pulling teeth, that appearance of that, you're going to only get after about 10 days. That's after 24 hours. All right, next one. <laughs> That's what she looked like. That's her nice false teeth put in. Go for it. Now, this woman is a German lady, and she came in with a big, fat abscess up here. And I said, listen, I'm sorry, you've got, a, you've got a, a, an abscess there with bone loss. Look at those two root canal teeth, the density meter down. I said, we're going to have to pull those teeth. She says, nein, you will not pull my teeth, yeah? Do something. So I said, all right, opened it. We had her on uh, the, the rife. And we put her ozone. I just injected ozone and this stuff came out. And this is what she looked like three months after. Look, the bone is already starting to fill in. And you can see. That's just from ozone. Next one. This is photos that a dentist sent me because he was waiting for some. He pulled this tooth, this one. He pulled that tooth. But look at the bone loss around that there. Ach, and while he was waiting, he bloody just put ozone over it. And he was going to pull the tooth later. And look what he got. That whole bone had regenerated. He was, and just from two minutes of ozone. Okay? Thank you.